What's going on guys? Welcome back to Welcome back to another video and today we're with the 535 So I know the last couple of videos I haven't been doing a whole bunch of mods I've been kind of doing like little mods here and there but don't worry the next couple of videos We got a lot of things going on like first off we do have the wrap for the for the 135 Um, I don't know if I should just wrap it with the M Sport kit. Do you guys think I should upgrade to the 1M kit? I haven't found anyone even selling the 1M kit other than eBay and I'm not really trying to get eBay bumpers on the car So Veneer is sold out keys motor supports is sold out So I mean, you know, I'm just kind of like kind of just chilling and waiting for that to get restocked. In terms of the 135, I ended up ordering some wheels. And also for the 435, the wheels are also coming. So two sets of wheels are coming, two sets of tires are coming. Some of the tires actually already came in, so we're good to go on that. But that's only half of them. I mean, it's technically a quarter of them because I ordered eight tires. And then now we're just left with the 535. Should I upgrade these wheels? Do you guys think they actually look pretty good? Because I don't mind them, but do you guys think I should upgrade and go ahead and swap these out with something different? And I definitely do need to lower it. Just maybe just a little bit. Maybe on some springs. I make the car so much better. So I'm definitely going to be looking out for some H&R springs as well. Guys, my new merch drop is going to be dropping pretty soon. Probably in the next video or two. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. I got so many new things for hashtag save BMW. I'm sure you guys are super excited for it. Phone cases, lanyards, air fresheners, stickers, and everything car related. New jet tags and different key tags. Literally everything. We have it in stock now. I've been literally playing this for so long. We finally have it all. So I will be dropping it pretty soon. I'm going to be going kind of live on YouTube pretty soon and I will be announcing all of it. And the first hundred orders will be entered in for a giveaway. Um, Trying to work out with a couple of my sponsors. Trying to see how big I can make this giveaway for you guys. But it's going to be pretty insane. Without further ado, let's go ahead and actually start working on the 530. You guys have been seeing a lot on the one series recently. We need to start doing some things to the 535 over here. This thing is an absolute gorgeous car. The color honestly is probably the absolute best color we could have went with for the 535. It honestly makes this car. We have actually carbon fiber coming in for this car. So good news on that. We do have that coming in as well. But anywho, something that's been, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to try out is it's, it's kind of a small mod, but it really helps out when you're constantly taking off your rims and putting on your rims. Let me show you guys what that is exactly. So let's see what we got over here in terms of mods boys i actually did order this switch right here for the sport and eco mode i'm gonna be doing a retrofit because for some reason this car does not have that like doesn't have eco or sport so i'm gonna be retrofitting that probably very soon actually probably actually when i get the new steering wheel steering wheel is coming in pretty soon as well i know we upgraded to m sport but i decided to go oz we're gonna go ahead and oz the steering wheel it's gonna look absolutely insane so that being said let's go ahead and just put all this stuff off to the side this is what we just picked up for the 535, I actually want to pick up two more sets for my 135 and my 435. And yep, it's a lug kit. So I'm super, super excited to install these. If you guys don't know about BMWs, you always have to get yourself so dirty to install wheels. And it's such a pain. You have to hold it with two hands, put your put your foot on it, everything, put in all the bolts. It's such a pain. So I went ahead and got my first set for the 535 because uh, why not? This set is from Keys Motorsports. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and install this. I'll show you guys pretty much the benefits of it and uh, why I would recommend this, but uh, I'm super stoked. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. What difference does this make? So first things first, I'm a risk. Nah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and just pop all these bolts kind of loose get off this wheel, show you guys how to do it on this wheel, and then I'll do it on the rest of them myself. One, two, three, four. Last one's a locking nut, guys. I'm super happy to get rid of those stupid locking nuts. And that's five, guys. All right, let's go ahead and jack this sucker up. Take it off the rim. Easy peasy lemon breezy. So this is what we're looking at, guys. So basically, how we actually put on a wheel, we basically put the wheel on, we have to hold the wheel up, and tighten the bolts. Let me show you guys how pretty much the process works. So like every other BMW guys, you have to get down on the ground, bring the wheel over. You have to kind of like figure out a way to carry it up, balance it, and then keep it on there with your foot, your hand, getting super dirty, and inserting all the bolts and tightening it. And as I'm in this position guys, I have to also look in and make sure the holes are lined up because if they're not, uh, you're gonna have to line it up before you can put in the screws like all of this work to get a wheel on it Just it's really you get dirty so easily All right, so this is what we're gonna do kids to make this thing a whole lot better So no more pain in the ass for installing rims and moving rims This is finally gonna be making it a whole lot easier So uh, let's go ahead and put a little bit of thread lock on here I got some medium thread lock so it's not too much nothing too crazy Just enough to basically get it on there and make sure it stays in there while we're actually tightening it or loosening up this little nut there and also with the vibration and things you know just a little bit of medium wouldn't hurt ah right, still a sucker on here let's go let's go and i'm just gonna go ahead and use this allen key just to tie it up just a little bit more all right we got five more to go boys all right guys 
let's see how much easier it is to install the rim nap. So we have all those things sticking out, which should pretty much help the wheel just get guided into place. We don't have to line it up or anything. It should just go on there. I should be able to, be able to just let go and move over to the lug nuts, grab the lug nuts and come back and the wheel should still be on there. So let's see if this works. All right, moment of truth guys. Picking up the rim. Hold up. Ugh, it's a big boy wheel right here. Just gonna line it up. Put it in place, letting go of the rim completely. And I got my five lugs. Easy peasy, lemon greasy. Did you guys see how easy that was to install? I literally just threw the rim on there, didn't have to line up shit. The studs actually came up and helped me guide the wheel in. Left the rim, got the bolts, put it all in, tightened them all up super easy. I'm gonna have to order two more sets for my other car. Anywho, that's one down. I'm gonna go ahead and just torque that down properly. I'm gonna do the other three, and then I'll get back to you guys. So, uh, time lapse. Guys, so you guys saw that I didn't even have to remove this wheel to put on those extended studs. Ah, oh, I wish I didn't have to take up all that. I didn't think that went through. I was basically, if you guys saw me, I was trying to kick the hell out of this wheel to get it off. Same goes with that other rear. And it turns out you can, you don't even have to remove the wheel to convert fr from lugs to studs. So lesson learned. So if you guys watched this video before you ordered it, there you go. There you have it. You don't even have to remove your rims, which is so nice. I literally only took advantage of that on one wheel. Well, I have two other cars I'll have to do it on. So lesson learned. Obviously there's gonna be no like ride difference. So I'm not even gonna take it out for a spin or anything like that. But I am gonna be taking it out because today I am fasting. So for those of you guys who are fasting, tomorrow's Eid. So if you guys know what I mean, you know what I mean. And I'm basically fasting for just today, but I kinda wanna kinda wanna like give something back to my family for everyone that's fasting today in my family. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get everyone their favorite food. So when they break their fast, they get to enjoy their favorite food. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Plus, we're gonna be taking the 535 to go bring all that food because, you know, we're, we're a bunch of fat people and we need a big car to bring all that food. So, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a shower. Uh, actually, I might even just go out for a quick little jog. So, yeah, I'm gonna go out for a jog. I'm gonna go wash up and uh, clean up over here. Then when I finish, I'll come pick you guys back up. I'm gonna head out with me and we're gonna get some food for my family. So, I'm sure they'll be really happy. I wish my family is as comfortable as I am on camera, but uh, it is what it is. Obviously, you know, like if you imagine some of your guys' parents holding a camera, in front of their faces and saying it's gonna go online. If they're old school like my parents are, if you say their face is gonna be all over the internet, they're just, they, they freak out. So I wish I could show you their reactions. Maybe one day when I get, when I buy them a car, I, I'm just gonna put them on camera because you know, I'm gonna be like, hey, look, you know, me and my, me and my subscribers bought you a car. They wanna see what they got you. So probably then I'll get my parents' reactions and stuff. But over, you know, an $8 meal or a $10 meal for, you know, here and there with my family, uh, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna cut it. Anywho, if you guys want this stud kit, they have, Keys Motorsports has it for every single car. Make sure to use code NOR5 for 5% off anything on Keys Motorsports. Anything you guys also purchase from them actually really helps me big time. This December, I have a huge goal of mine, which is something that's been a dream of mine since I started YouTube, and I'm trying to accomplish it. If you guys are OGs, and if you guys wanna know exactly what it is, actually, you guys can literally go to the About section on my YouTube channel, and you guys will literally know what's my dream, and I wanna accomplish it by either December or my birthday, um, really depends. So anything you guys do to support your man, whether that's copying merch or just getting something for yourselves from Keys Motorsports, it's truly gonna help me a lot. I appreciate y'all so much. Anyway, let me get cleaned up, go out for a run, and uh, let's go make my family's day. All right, guys, we are officially in the car, and we are heading over to get some food for the fam. So I'm super excited for this, mainly because I've actually never done something this big before. I mean, I normally go to like, I, back in the day, I used to just go down to Burger King, and get those uh, four for three deals for the fam. I think I would spend like oh, like $16 and have literally enough food for the whole family. And I used to be very conservative on gas. Yeah, so it, it's been, last year to this year, it's been, it's been a big difference. I know like doing this is not like that big of a deal, but it's, I feel like for the day and that we're all fasting, it, it would kind of feel, I feel like it would mean a lot to them. So anywho, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna go down to everyone's favorite place and just get them something from there. So I'm gonna go down right now to KFC because I know my dad loves KFC. He hasn't had KFC in probably over a year now it's because no one else eats KFC, but I'm just gonna give him the whole box just for him and he can eat it throughout the week if he needs to. So first stop, KFC. Just made it to KFC. All right, let's get something to eat. 
since it's just my dad, I think I'm gonna go with the $20 fill up because the 30 for just my dad <laughs> may be a little bit too much. Let's go with the $20 fill up box. Guys, first order went hard. This thing's huge. Off to the second location. Little pull in ocean. Dang. All right, guys, so I'm actually using my phone to record right now. Basically, my camera died, so that sucked. I probably should have grabbed a spare battery, but it's all good. So we're going to head over to Chipotle because my mom right now, she's a little bit sick, unfortunately. So she can't really be eating anything other than like rice and like stuff like that. So I'm going to go down to Chipotle and get her like pretty light things and then rice, obviously. So let's head down to Chipotle and get her that, especially after a long day of fasting. I think she's definitely going to be hungry. So got to get her a bunch of rice and whatever else that won't upset the stomach. It could be good. This mom, this is fun. I want to do like things like this, but like also for you guys, like car giveaways, like the E36 M3. I love, you know, just giving out. It just, it just feels so freaking good. So uh, let's go down. Like I said, get some food first, and uh, maybe we'll give away a car after. Nah, I'm just kidding. Well, we need to do one of those again. That was kind of fun. So uh, obviously that one put that that the E36 M3 put a little bit of dent in my wallet, but it was definitely worth it for you guys. All right, guys. I was pulling up to in out for myself real quick. Two protein burgers for myself, but uh, we break our fast in about less than 50 minutes and i don't think i can get three different locations plus that in and out line like do you guys see the in and out line like that car right there it's driving right there it literally wraps around and here is in and out like what okay yeah we're not gonna make that one um we're gonna have to go to another place for me i might try to get some kind of burrito then something with like protein i'm not really too sure i have to figure that out real quick here at chipotle for my mom so uh let's get her her bowl real quick guys check out the headlights Oh my God, this car is so beautiful. All right, off to the next look. Guys, and I think for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and get Habit uh, just cause. I, 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 the, all the, the In-N-Out was closed and I need a burger in my life today. So, you know, after fasting for a whole day, I'm craving a burger. Does this guy know how to park? Like, what is he doing? Anyhow, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get myself one burger. <laughs> Guys, what is this, Habit? Look at all the food. I just got my, I got a, I got a single burger here from the Habit. Uh, we got some Chipotle for my mom, some KFC for my dad. He got the full blown meal. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to Taco Bell because I know my brother likes Taco Bell. Get him a little bit of Taco Bell because I know he's gonna enjoy this chicken with uh, from, with my dad. So I'm gonna get him just a few things from Taco Bell. All right, let's get it. I cannot explain to you guys how much fun it is getting food when you're starving because technically I don't have to just sit home and dream about food. I'm literally sitting to, next to so, I never had so much food next to me in my life. I feel so fat but it's for the fam and you know, I'm starving. So this is pretty quiet. I mean, this way you never, ever, ever go to like Walmart or some place full of groceries when you're fasting because uh, you start just buying things impulsively, honestly. So uh, yeah, let's get some Taco Bell and then head home. And we, we honestly gotta make it just in time. So that's perfect. Just arrived at Taco Bell. So this is the final meal. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get three tacos. I'm gonna actually snag one because I'm actually craving Taco Bell. I haven't eaten Taco Bell in probably two to three months. So I'm gonna take one taco for myself, two tacos for my brother, and uh, we should be good to go. <laughs> the guys at the Taco Bell dropped it like, I look like Drake. Do I look like Drake? What the heck? They said I look like hot. I, I look really close to Drake. I, I I I don't see it, but if you guys see it, let me know down below. Anywho, we just copped the Taco Bell right there. So uh, we officially have everything we need to surprise the fam with some good food when they break their fast. I think, you know, this is pretty proper. Now I know this isn't like something huge, but I do like to say, I wanna thank you guys so much. Let me go ahead and close my window so you guys can hear this. And as cringy as this might sound, I couldn't afford any of this food <laughs> as sad as it is i couldn't afford any of this food if it wasn't for you guys so thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and just watching my videos and stuff like that because honest to god i wouldn't be making a penny because i don't i don't i don't have another job this is my job so i love the fact that i can just do what i love and, and just try to bring you guys whatever you guys want to see and you guys the support really means the world to me so again thank you guys so much for that so think of it like this you guys are the ones that are actually uh treating my family today so thank you guys so much i appreciate you but anyway without further ado guys tons of mods for the one 35 hopefully coming soon should i be wrapping the 135 i have the wrap do you guys want me to wrap it pretty soon get this video to 2000 likes and i will just wrap the 135 2000 likes guys without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out we're about to go break our fast i'm so hungry